Okay, I'm sitting on a trolley bus and we are not connected. Something has gone wrong with the trolley network. Something has just gone wrong with the trolley bus network and all of the trolley buses have just lost power to the overhead wires. So we're all running on the battery power. Yep, I can see all the trolleys behind me and going past and now all running on the batteries. Awesome. I've never done this before. Okay. Looks like power might have been restored. The driver's getting out. He's about to put the wires back on. He's reconnecting this back onto the wires now. And the other trolley bus in front is also going onto its wires. So it appears that the problem has been fixed. So we are now reconnected. And as you can see, we are now reconnected to the wires. There's trolley buses behind us, you can see, still running on their battery power, not connected to the wires. We've got to wait for the trolley bus in front of us to move. He's loading passengers in front, so we'll have to see what happens. Okay. That one is on the wires, and so is this one, and we're moving, so everything appears to be just fine. Once more, the other trolley bus isn't behind us anymore, he's probably stopped to put his wires back up. Okay. We've now resumed normal service. I've just spoken to one of the bus drivers and he explained to me that the trolley bus network is not one singular entity. It's, it's separated into segments and sections with breakers in between. This means that the power outage is contained to one part of the network, which would explain why the trolley bus was working before, then it had to come off the wires and onto the battery, and then explains why it then went back onto the wires when it got to Willis Street, Street because the power in that part of the network was working. And it's all because that the trolley bus network is separated up into these sections, which means that if the power fails in one part of the trolley bus network, it, will, it won't fail uh, in the rest of it. That's actually pretty good design, actually. 